unless you're completely new to Final Fantasy XIV, you will be familiar with this guy on screen right now. He's the guy that gets used on all the promotional content for the game, and it's Square Enix version of the Warrior of Light, the protagonist of the story. Of course, in-game, every player has their own character with a different design, but they needed someone to use for the trailers and the advertisement, so they came out with this kind of generic male human design. Now, he is generic, but he has been the face of the game for all of these years, so he has also become pretty iconic. And there's people they want to play looking like this. Maybe because they feel like it's more canon, playing the story looking like the guy from the trailers, or they just think it's just a cool design. Regardless, I've seen many people on the internet posting screenshots of the trailers wondering if it's possible to get the design. And I've seen that many people answered that this is just the design of the default male human that you find in the editor. Well, let me tell you, that is not true at all. They're so different. I'll show you now on screen how the default male human looks and just well, judge for yourself if they're the same guy. Bruh! I mean, they do look somewhat similar, mainly because of the hairstyle, but still, this guy is ugly, the guy from the trailers is super cool, and someone wants to play as the Warrior of Light from the trailers, they get told that once they get into the editor, they just need to select the first thing they see, they get into the editor, and they see this, I would say they're pretty disappointed, so I decided to try and see if it was possible to recreate him in a better way, and this is how my attempt came out. Now, it's not perfect, and that is mainly because of the beer, but it's uh, definitely, definitely way better than what Square Enix offers us, right? What the editor offers us. So, as I said, the beard is not perfect because it's quite clear that the developers don't like having bearded guys in their game. They just made all the beard so ugly that you just don't want to stack them. But I decided to use the beard and mustache because I thought it would resemble more the guy from the trailers, even though he has more of a like a short stubble. Anyway, if you don't like how the beard looks, you can just remove it. It's just two buttons, and you will still be left with. Uh, with a character that resembles the, the Water of Light from the trailers pretty well. So, if you're interested in seeing how I made this character, now I'll just go in, in game and I'll show you step by step all the settings that you need to create the Water of Light. Okay, here we are. We're in game, we're in the editor, we already did the intro, so I'm just gonna go right into it and show you the character and everything you need to select. So, first of all, race and gender, you need to select your male, which is the human race in Final Fantasy, clan is Midlander, and then appearance, just all the other settings that you need to select. So, let's put it in small clothes so that you can see also the rest of the body, and let's just have a little close-up before going through all the settings. You can also change uh, the environment, as you probably know. Okay, so let's start with these guys. Height, I kept 50 because he's just an average uh, guy in terms of height. With a muscle tone of 80, because it's pretty, I mean, it's pretty athletic. And then skin color, this one is fine because he's pretty pale, but has also kind of a pink undertone as you can see in this lining, so anything from here will be fine from over here. Hairstyle, the last one, this is literally just the one, it's perfect, the one from the trailer. Hair color, this kind of dark brown is good, and face is the first one of the second row. And then we get into the things that, were, that are different from the default guy. And I showed you before. So we had jaw number one, which is way more defined. Eye shape number three, that with uh, an RE size of with the small option gives him uh, this more 
serious look, more focused. I call her. I call her is light blue. I don't know why they they gave him like like they they gave um, brown eyes on the default guy in the, in the editor. His eyes are, have always been light blue since the first trailer. So I don't know why they did that. Eyebrows are number one over here. Nose and mouth too. Lip color, I use this color over here, but what's important is that you use light settings because it doesn't have really colorful lips. Facial features, okay, so this is what I told you you can change. You can remove the beard if you want, and you will have this uh, clean shaven version, which probably many would prefer. So you can use this if you don't like the beard. I think it looks more similar to the original one if you keep the beard, but that's just up to your preference. Tattoos, um, and we didn't use them, so also tattoo color is irrelevant. And the face paint, uh, instead we use this third one. So what this does, this is not makeup. You can use it as makeup if you want, but you can also use these face paint options to kind of create this effect of uh, a darker shade around the eyes. That is something that also if you Care if you look carefully, people in your real life have, and so it, it kind of adds some details around the eyes if you don't overdo it because then, of course, as I said, it will look like makeup. So, we use this kind of shade of gray over here with dark setting, and you can see that you can notice that it's or oh, it's there, but it's not to the point of looking like makeup, right? And that was it because then voice is irrelevant because the character doesn't really have a specific voice. And so if you select all of these, you get the character that probably looks the closest possible to the border of light, unless in the future they will have some way to have uh, like that stumble over there, but I don't think they will. So that was it guys, I hope you liked the video, let me know what you think about my, my design for the world of light and if you like the video and you decide to use this character yourself or as one of your retainers, well, just let me know with a comment and the like and possibly just subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna keep doing some Final Fantasy content and possibly other games in the future. So thank you for watching and see you in the next video.